Life is full of entanglements. But thankfully, your shave brush doesn't need to be. Over time, brushes will knot up. That's because when we use them to lather on our face or in a bowl, the hairs tend to intertwine and become a hot mess after a few months. There is one way that I know, apart from clipping and clean with a brush cleaner or a mild detergent, that will assist you in getting optimal performance in your shave brush. Enter the brush comb. Now, of course, this comes in different shapes and sizes. There's one with a, a broad comb and a fine comb. This is actually a pet hair brush. But you understand the principle. And this, of course, is relevant for both cruelty-free hair brushes and animal hair brushes. Don't just plow in and start combing away because that's going to damage the brush. The best way to do this is to slowly pinch the top of the knot and then very, very delicately put the comb in and brush it away from you very, very slowly. Turn the brush. So you turn it about 90 degrees until you've come back full circle. That should help to remove the tangles that are at the top of the brush. Please don't go to the base of the knot and just plow straight in, as I said before, because that's going to cause big problems. What I would do is to simply place the comb at the base of the brush, just try and get it in there as, as, as gently as possible, and then slowly work your way to the top. Turn base of the knot and slowly turn away. Typically I do this when the brush is dry. I don't want to do it when the brush is wet, uh, obviously because water adds another factor to the binding of these hairs. If you do this every 12 weeks or so, in addition to cleaning with a mild detergent, you should have a brush that will continue to perform for years. Now these brushes are available, as I say, at pet stores. This one was actually acquired from a local hardware store. Uh, they're very inexpensive. In fact, I think this one's just under $5. But it's very, very important. Uh, in case you're wondering, brush manufacturers use these in the production of the brush, even before it's been used to, to disentangle the hairs. So it's very, very important to get one of these, whether you've got an animal hairbrush or a cruelty-free brush.